Um, my name is Lucas Singer. Um, my name is Doi. And I'm Tony. Uh, my name's David. Chaz Blygen. I'm Josh. I'm Ben. Uh, so my name's Hannah, and I have worked here since pretty much the very beginning, since it first opened almost five years ago. So we started Cornerstone Montclair in 2018. And the motivation for starting Cornerstone Montclair really stemmed from a growing awareness. A growing awareness of how difficult it is if you have a disability to be integrated in your community as you become an adult. And on a personal level, we have four children. My daughter Evelyn is our second child. Um, she is 18 years old and she has Down syndrome. And Evelyn has been included, fully included in Montclair's school system since she was very young, since kindergarten, even back in preschool. What became painfully apparent the older Evelyn has gotten and as she becomes a young woman is how difficult it is to take that inclusion that she has had the benefit of in the school system and translate that into the community. And it became very obvious to us that it was going to be difficult, um, that there are a lot of barriers to having people with disabilities feel like they are valued, welcomed, contributing members of their community. So yeah, I'm the longest active employee currently. Um, and this store has a whole mission. So this whole building is called Cornerstone Montclair and it has a mission of creating more inclusion for people with disabilities um, for people with disabilities, they can work in their community and they can just get more comfortable and learn. Um, outside of working here, I've just learned to work with so many different kinds of people and get to know people better. Um, and it's made me look at you know, every conversation I have with people in a different way. It's benefited me by, um, it's made me more of a people person and just making everyone feel welcome. I am the cornerstone purveyor of little things. I My first thing uh, when I come in is I always try to check every tiny thing that usually gets uh, goes unnoticed when it gets sold and I try to restock everything I can. So that means putties, that means candy. It is kind of my favorite bustling activity. I really love being in the moment and walking around. So this is a really great place to do it because there's so many things, especially tiny things. Um, it made me more... Um, confident yeah, in myself and I would I not trade it for anything in the world, obviously. Well, since I learned about the store, I was working at um, the Inclusive Movement Center, which is next door. Cornerstone Montclair is a physical space, a philosophy, and a vision in action. Space within the building is curated to include businesses who share a passion around community inclusion for people with disabilities. I refer to the businesses here as mission partners. My mission partners include the Inclusive Movement Center, Creative Speech Solutions, Norma Franculo, who is a special education lawyer, Maria Sanders, who is a parenting coach, and the General Store. So my mission partners, my very first mission partner was the Inclusive Movement Center. It is a fitness center for kids. Uh, they specialize in ninja warrior classes. And the gentlemen who own that business, um, they are not therapists. They are fitness instructors. They have backgrounds in adaptive physiology. And they are experts at having great fitness classes that inspire kids of all abilities. They have fantastic equipment and they have a lot of knowledge on how to differentiate different kinds of fitness routines with kids and make it very fun. Chaz, one of my ex-employees, floats through all the time because this is his third space. Chaz was an intern here for a short period of time. Now he works at the hardware store, True Value in Wachung Plaza. And um, we're sorry that he's not working here, but he's here all the time. Chaz Blygen. And I started working at Cornerstone about, I want to say, probably 2017, 2018. He hangs out with my employees, he chats about sports with Josh, who's one of my other employees here. So he really, really feels like this is his third space, his safe space outside of his home to come and be social. And so that's super important to us here. My favorite things is the, the candy and then the Montclair stuff. And it's just a beautiful store to come, come look at stuff. My employee, Ben, is legally blind and he really wanted to be a part of the Friday rush. He really wanted to help out with all these kids coming in, buying things at the same time. So Ben actually came up with the idea of using voice recognition to help with checkout. So there'll be kids in there um, paying cash 
for a soda or a piece of candy, and Ben, I'll tell Ben what it is, and he'll record it into his phone, and then when the rush is over, we'll go through everything that he and I sold together. Excuse me. What do you have? One Coke. Ben, one Coke. Two dollars. One Coke. Two right there. It was a really creative way that he um, taught me to think out of the box, to be involved with that crazy rush hour time, but also the kids are seeing him. They're seeing him use technology to be able to do his job. They're seeing the store employ someone that you don't always see, and you should see in other places and other businesses. I think all interactions have been pretty meaningful. Um, most people who come here are really nice. Um, it's nice to talk to people. I think you have a fun time with the kids too when they come in after school. Yeah. Kind of talking to them, like when they're getting candy and stuff like that. Yeah, it's nice to talk to the kids when they come in after school. Yeah. So that's a great example of what I, I really love about the store is the opportunity to change perspectives and give Ben an opportunity to be a part of a meaningful work experience. Through Friends of a Friends, Liz Samuels is a resident of Montclair and she approached me about using this space for a Montclair Story Salon, which is an evening where maybe five or six different artists or performers will get up in front of a friendly group and sing, do spoken word, tell a story, um, produce an art piece. And so I was really interested in having something fun and um, vibrant really here in the space. And so I, I connected her with my very dear friend, Manal Rosenblum, who is a lovely young woman who happens to have Down syndrome, and she is amazing at spoken word. And so Manal was invited to come join in with the performers that night, and she was incredible. I say it's in the click of my heels, the bend of my hair, the palm of my hands, the need for my care, because... I'm a woman, phenomenally, phenomenal woman, that's me. That was just a great example of, of just including people with disabilities who have talents to be a part of what's going on in the vibrancy of our community. Part of the long-term vision of Cornerstone Montclair is to positively influence other community partners or businesses to also change their perspectives and hire more people with disabilities. And one of the most effective ways to do this is to form partnerships with other community organizations. A great example is the Montclair Art Museum. The Montclair Art Museum very much wants to have people of all abilities everybody in the community come and enjoy beautiful art. And so knowing what what their mission is about and what they want to accomplish in the community, I teamed up with them and we opened the Cornerstone Cafe at the Montclair Art Museum. And that is open on Fridays and Saturdays right now. It's been expanding and it employs um, people with and without disabilities there, um, learning how to serve coffee, working with customers, and and also just providing a friendly face to the museum. I, I think we all can acknowledge that when you go somewhere, you always feel a little bit more comfortable when you see someone like yourself that looks like you, maybe the same background. So by having people with disabilities working there, being forward facing, what you're telling the community and what you're telling other people with disabilities is you're welcome here. You are welcome to enjoy and appreciate art like everyone else. And then the mission partner nearest and dearest to my heart, of course, is the general store. So I own the building uh, in the umbrella business, which is Cornerstone Montclair, and then I own the general store, which is really where you see the mission in action every single day in every single way. Cornerstone Montclair started because we saw a need that needed to be addressed in the community, and we also wanted to send a message. Uh, we wanted to use Cornerstone Montclair in this business as a vehicle for reframing conversations about what it's like to have a disability and be a member of a community. We wanted to use it as a tool for changing perspectives about what people with disabilities are capable of doing. And we wanted to create opportunities, specifically opportunities uh, for employment, meaningful employment, as well as social engagement. 
And it's been so fun to do this today because we are coming up to the fifth birthday of the store. <laughs> and George is all ready to celebrate. Yeah. And I'm so happy that you guys are participating in this because you are some of my star employees. And, you know, the people who work here uh, and the customers they talk to who come in, they're really the heart of the mission of Cornerstone Montclair. They really make the mission come to life. And so thank you, everybody. I'm so excited to celebrate George's birthday and the store's birthday with everyone in a couple months. Thank you, Wendy. Thank, Thank you, Wendy. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, George. <laughs> Working here and living here is the um, the best thing that um, ever ever happened. 